Good morning, everybody. So today is Wednesday, January the 20, what is it, 24th. Um, I did just break my 24-hour fast um, the second time I've done it, and I feel good. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling a little bit more hungry today than I did the last week, but it's okay. I'm breaking it. I'm really excited. I am making some eggs. I did throw in some chopped pork chops. Um, that I cut up is just three ounces of pork chops. Um, and I just scrambled it up with my eggs. I did add a fourth cup of cottage cheese just to add a little extra protein. Um, and then, of course, as y'all know, my salad. Um, it's exactly what I had yesterday um, before the start of my 24-hour fast. But, I'm sore, y'all. <laughs> I'm sore, and I can feel it, um, which means it's working, so that's okay. Um, I'm very happy. Um, like I was saying, I'm very proud of myself for challenging, um, at least challenging myself in these workouts, but it's, it's been tough. <laughs> so, I am definitely excited for this breakfast, for sure. I'm currently making my child a bottle because well, we're just having a day this morning. <laughs> it's, it's been rough. My eggs are almost done cooking, but I will show you what it looks like and I will also add the points on the screen as well. So, All right, y'all. So my breakfast is pretty much done. This is what it is looking like. Oh my God, it looks so good. Um, I'm super excited. So yesterday I did add, um, which I did not show, I added some Parmesan cheese and a little bit of chocolate bell sauce to it. Today I think I'm gonna do a little bit something different. I'm gonna add some sour cream, um, two tablespoons, and then I may add some buffalo sauce. I'm addicted to buffalo sauce, y'all. Mm -hmm. I love it. But just for a little bit of kick, I'll add that. And I may just do one tablespoon. Today for dinner, um, I have prepped some veggies already, but I am trying the buffalo chicken chili. I'm so excited. My sister sent me the recipe, so I'm excited to try it. Um, let's see. All right. Well, this looks bomb. I'm very happy with how this looks. breakfast y'all or lunch really because <laughs> it's noon so eggs sour cream I do have some pork chops in there as well cottage cheese and this is just red cabbage um, carrots and I did add tomatoes to the salad as well um, but I'm super excited I'm very pumped for this lunch um, today we are working out of course <laughs> I'm doing the 75 soft challenge so Stay tuned for that. Um, I really don't know if I'm going to want to take any kind of pre-workout. I actually have a decent amount of energy today, surprisingly. So we'll see. <laughs> but stay tuned because we will be cooking together. So, see ya. So, both of my kids decided to fall asleep at the same time. Never happens that way. So, I'm going to enjoy myself a nice cup of coffee. Um, and to my coffee different, I do use instant coffee. Um, so I'm heating up my water. When my parents came in town, they left a, um, a different type. We usually use just Folgers instant coffee. Um, but they did leave a different kind and it has kind of like a cinnamon taste to the coffee. It's absolutely delicious. Mm. So this is the one. It's really good. Okay. So 
So I can really just throw a tablespoon of that coffee in there. And just non dairy creamer. I can't remember how many teaspoons I like. I think it's five, but <laughs> we'll think. If not, we'll tweak it. All right, and then for sugar, I don't use sugar, but I am using um, organic stevia drops. So that's what I use.
All right, guys, so back in the kitchen. Um, the buffalo chicken chili is so delicious. I can't wait to have it for dinner. But as you can see, I've already prepped it, so it is ready to go. I just gotta do it. Um, all I gotta do is put it in the microwave. Um, but all I did after I put it in my bowl, um, I just topped it off with like two grams of sharp cheddar cheese and then two tablespoons of sour cream. So this is dinner. I'm so excited. Um, Y'all need to try the recipe because it is delicious. Um, but yeah, that is dinner. I'm gonna go sit on the couch and just enjoy it and watch our guilty pleasure. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so it is the end of the night. I'm exhausted. That workout kicked my butt. I really should have thought about having some pre-workout, but I was hard-headed and stubborn and went for it anyways. I'm glad I did it. I do feel better. I'm just extremely sore. Um, so tonight I decided that I wanted just a little bit like something cold, um, but healthy, of course. So I got my protein powder, um, mixed it into a shake. I used almond milk. Um, almond milk, I did put some collagen in there and one, uh, one tablespoon of peanut butter. I shook it up, I threw it in the freezer, and it's just, it's just a cold shake. Um, it is absolutely delicious. So that is what I'm having for my dessert. Um, it ended up being seven points. Um, usually it's three, but because I added that peanut butter. Um, <laughs> Y'all, I promise I recorded like how I made dinner, but I didn't. Um, I thought I did. <laughs> but dinner was absolutely amazing. Like I said, my sister sent me that recipe. Um, but I grabbed one pound of ground chicken. Um, I just cooked that up with some spices. I blended up um, carrots, celery, and a bell pepper. And I also um, threw in a can of fire roasted tomatoes, um, diced tomatoes in there. And then I just sauteed that up with the ground chicken once it was done cooking. And then I threw everything else in. So I added two different kinds of beans, um, kidney beans and black beans, and then two cans of tomato sauce. And then the only other like extra thing that was added was the half a cup of buffalo. Y'all, it was bomb. So I cut it up into, <laughs> cut it up, um, I split it up into eight portions. Um, and it was a cup and a half in each portion. Um, it was perfect. <laughs> like I said, it was so good, but I'm just gonna enjoy this. Enjoy the quiet. I definitely need it. But that's it y'all. I hope you'll have a great night. Thank you so much for following my journey, but I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.